Muy buenas, ¿qué tal? Estamos aquí, volvemos en Vampir Y vamos a continuar donde lo dejamos Estoy cagado porque voy a ir al club Ascalón Ay, Dios mío, y me van a reventar Es que me van a hundir la existencia ¿Eh? Yo aquí no he estado, creo Me van, me van a... So, time to visit the Ascalon Club. A exterminar O sea, ahí yo qué sé, tío Me tiro un pedo en público y me ejecutan, ¿sabes? No sé Tengo miedo Eh, ¿Aquí salida o...? Sí. Pero no voy a poder abrir la puerta, ¿verdad? Hijos de puta. Me cago en todo. Chaval. Necesito un refugio para mejorar el temilla armamento. Sabes. Porque, joder. Buah. Vale, qué pesada. Por Dios. Chaval. Voy acojonado, tío. Es que necesito más nivel. Por lo menos mejorar las armas, tío. Por aquí... ¿Cómo? What the fuck? Vale, un atajo. The West End. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. Todo esto por aquí, por aquí. Pues igual para evitar eso. Socorro que alguien me ayude. Hay un ciudadano en peligro por... José puta. Marca la coño. No. Oye, pero cómo me ha quitado. Lol. ¿Cómo me ha quitado tanta vida, la hija de puta? Hola, 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 hola. Uf. 
chaval. Chaval. ¿Este quién es? ¿Este quién es? ¿Por dónde está? ¿Cómo lo libero y cómo veo lo que está haciendo? Y si... Pero no me puedo agachar. ¡Eh! Se escondía de este. Mierda, un momentito, un momentito, un momentito, un momentito. Ponte... Un revólver. Joder. ¿Qué dices? ¿Qué dices, chaval? No puedo contra este tío, no me jodas. Fuck, 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 pírate. Mm. Ni de coña, tío. ¿Cómo le quito tan poco? Hasta el, con lo de liberar a la bestia, ¿sabes, tío? Oh. 
cabrón. Bien. Hostia, chaval. Alineación estelar. Nueva investigación. ¿Qué dices? Ah, habla con el hombre exhausto este, pavo. Joder, qué susto. Digo, ¿qué, qué dices ahora? No me pegues. Que no te voy a hacer nada, coño. Hola. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need help, sir? I think I'm fine. But what happened to my jailer? Be careful. He's as vicious as he is strong. You don't have to worry about him anymore. What happened here? I am Tadao Kimura. I was imprisoned by this lunatic for several days. I thought I was going to die here. You're not going to die now, Mr. Kimura. If you hurry, you should be able to get home safely. It seems that I owe you my life. You have all my gratitude, Dr. Reed. Since it is the most precious thing I possess. Vale, pues chao. Mr. Kimura. Take care. Madre de Dios. Oh. Oh, pie y reloj. Perdón. Bien. Aquí había otro... Ah, no, pero está vacío. Digo, otro mueblecito, pero nada. Hostia, tío. 13 minutos con esta normal, ¿sabes? Joder, pero que es que es absurdamente difícil, tío, o sea, pero que es que esto, o sea, ¿qué me estás contando? ¿Sabes? Rata, dame, lo siento, pero te necesito. Pues sobrevivir, porque ahora mismo, joder. ¡Eh! Desconocido. ¿Pero aquí? No es por aquí. Espera un momento. Toc, toc. No toc, toc, pues no sé. Eh, ¿Por dónde? Entonces. ¿Por arriba? Esto lo hice antes, pero no sabía para qué. Ah, igual. Igual es... Un momento, ahora estoy. No, a ver, según el mapa, pero esta puerta, fresh water, oh. as long as it's not holy water, I may find some use for it. Espera, hostia, pero ¿por qué andas tan raro después de poner pausa? 
Joder, céntrate. Según el mapa, por aquí hay un refugio. ¿Ven? Nuevo diálogo con Lady Asbury, pero se acabo de venir de ahí, ¿por qué no hemos hablado? ¿Todo esto? ¡Ah, sí! ¡Mansión de los Reed! ¿Qué dices? Es mi casa, chaval. Llave pequeña. Hola, 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 hola. Espérate primero. Pieza de empuñadura eficaz, necesito. ¿Es mala? Mother. Good evening. Jonathan. Is it you? Where have you been? Me lo ha marcado como enemigo, eh. I'm right here, mother. I'm finally home. Yes. But this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and now found. But where is your sister? Where is Mary? Mary. She She is gone, mother. I know she's gone. The question is, when will she return as you have? I miss my grandson so much. It's been days since their last visit. Have you returned to Whitechapel Cemetery since Mary's funeral? I never want to go back to that awful place. Wait, I think I went back once, and you were there too, and Mary? No, that can't be true. It was just a bad dream, Mother. A nightmare, yes. Mary was so angry. I walked back home alone. If that kind policeman had not called Avery from the station, I don't know what would have happened. Mother... Do you know what's been going on in this area? Not really. I don't go out much due to the epidemic, and when I do, I tend to get lost. What do you mean you get lost? I hope you don't go outside alone. Of course not. When I go out, your father always comes with me, but he leaves me there sometimes, and I have trouble finding the way back. Do you need anything, Mother? Can I help you? I just want you to stay with me, Jonathan. Your room is ready. I asked Avery to make your bed. I'll stay as long as I can, I promise. Do you need anything else? Just one thing. Stop staring at me like that. As much as I love you, it breaks my heart to look at those empty and dead eyes. Are you working on a new painting? Not recently. I have trouble focusing on my subject and my mind quickly drifts. It's the same thing when I try to write poetry. I recently met a talented painter with an excellent technique. I wish you two could meet. I'm sure you'd like her. I'd be glad to meet her. What is her name? Is she famous? Is she dead too? She's not famous and her name is of no importance. And yes, she's also dead. The important thing is, I hope you two get along. If she ever fancies meeting your mother, I'd be glad to welcome her. ¿Sabe que hemos sido vampiros, Mary? Yo... No sé, tío. No sé, no sé qué es esto. No. Why do you say Mary is visiting you, mother? You know that's impossible. No me jodas. Why should it be? Are you not standing in front of me right now? Why should it be any different with your sister? But Mary really is dead, Mother. Yes. And are you not dead too? Isn't your father dead? And my grandson and my son-in-law, you're all gone. But you all still visit me from time to time. But I'm not dead, Mother. I'm really here. Ah, creo que soy una alucinación o algo. Yo qué sé, tío, me estoy liando. Trying not to cry. Oh, it breaks my heart to have to tell you this. 
But of no course sé. you're dead, my darling boy. Just look at you, as pale as my Mary. Goodbye, mother. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Please come back soon. ¿Por qué me la marca como objetivo y saco el arma y todo? ¿Pero qué está pasando aquí? Pero, pero... La puedo vigilar, pero ¿desde dónde? Desde fuera. Your father and I have spoken about your fiance, Mary. We believe he'll be an honorable husband for you. Sí, alucina. We'll set a date for the marriage then. That way, I'm sure one of my children will give me grandchildren. I understand your thirst for knowledge, Jonathan. And your father and I are proud of it. But you are not that young anymore, my son. When will I meet your soulmate? O alucina o delira, una de las dos. You can ascribe my romantic tendencies to my French origins if you want, Aubrey. But I'll never cease to believe in a match made in heaven, my beloved. I really wish you could meet her mother. You would love her. Alucinar es, por ejemplo, pues ver a gente muerta, por ejemplo. Delirar es no saber que están muertos. No ser consciente de ello. Madre. Hello. Jonathan. Do you really see Mary and Father? Do you also see me as one of the dead? Yes. For many years it was just a game. Since your father left us without a word, I took to the habit of speaking to him. Yes, I remember. I sometimes spied on you and listened to you talking with father in the garden. It made me so angry then. But it was just a game, wasn't it? Yes, it was. But since then, my poor dead Mary visited me in my room. She led me to her grave and there you were. I now know the dead can haunt us. Joder. I'm so sorry. You did not deserve to endure this. Mary should never have done this to you. That's true, my son. But you know what the worst part is? I liked it when Mary spoke in my head. Now she is silent. And it makes me so sad. Should I leave you alone? Just ask. And I swear you'll never hear from me again. Oh, no, Johnny. You're always welcome in this house. And one day, when I finally die, We'll all be together again, just as Mary promised us. Joder, Goodbye, joder, joder. Try to rest now. Goodbye, son. Mira, te voy a saque, voy a voy a mirar lo de tu habitación que la abrí, pero lo dejo tal cual. Y a lo mejor, pues hay cosas que me vienen bien, sabes. Hijo del año, o sea, quedando a su madre enferma, ¿sabes? Ahí ya mayor y senil. ¿Esto da la calle? Ah, esto... Quita, coño. Joder. Esto da... Ah, sí, da fuera de la calle, joder. Señor. ¿Usted también flipa? No creo. Es el mayordomo o algo, supongo. Hola, señor. Good evening, Avery. Mr. Jonathan, I can't believe my own eyes. Oh, it's a miracle. We all thought you were. Oh, sir, your poor sister. What a tragedy. I know, Avery. 
I know about my sister's murder. Miss Reed expected you to return to assist with the funeral, right up until the last minute. Where have you been, Mr. Jonathan? We needed you here. How is my mother? Not well, I'm afraid, sir. Miss Reed is very fragile since the police brought her back home. The police? What happened? Miss Reed was found walking in the streets. She kept saying she had spoken with her son and daughter. She's resting now. Has she received appropriate medical care? I'm taking care of Miss Reed myself. Hospitals are so overwhelmed by the epidemic that they can only accept patients infected by influenza. Hold it. Mierda, que chum, mierda, momento, mierda. How is my mother? Not well, I'm afraid. The police? Miss... Perhaps we could arrange a short trip. Somewhere sunny, like France. She has always been very fond of France. I think leaving London could do her good. I'm afraid Miss Reed is too frail for the moment. Recently, she started going out at night without remembering it. I have to watch her carefully. What is the situation in this part of town? For a time, the West End seems spared by the epidemic. But the situation is getting much worse. Have you no relatives anywhere? I'll understand if you want to take a few days to see family. Your father managed to guarantee my earnings as long as I take care of this house, sir. My sisters are dead. And I've never met my nephews. I'll stay, sir. Pobre hombre. I'm sorry I could not be here for Mary's funeral. Your mother was strong, sir. But your support would have been appreciated. Apart from the priest and I, no one else attended your sister's funeral. To be present at the funeral with you both was my dearest wish, Avery. But I'm sorry, I simply could not attend. I would not dare to question your absence, Mr. Jonathan. All I can say is that we missed you a great deal during these difficult days. Tell me the truth, Avery. Do you feel forced to stay here? Would you leave this house without the arrangement made by my father? No, sir. I have nowhere else to go. And I promised your father I'd take care of his family as long as I live. This house is dead, Avery. There is a curse on this family. You really should consider leaving. If only you could have been here sooner or more often. Maybe this house would not be that empty. But you're here now, sir. So my task is not over. Considering the recent tragedies in this family, I'd understand if you want to leave or decide to serve another house. Then I will stay. All I ask is that you take care of my own funeral if I die before the end of the epidemic. No mass grave, please, sir. You really think I don't take enough care of my mother, Avery? Yes, I do, Mr. Jonathan. You clearly have something more to say. Speak your mind, Avery. I know you work hard to help the sick, but what will you do once the epidemic is over? I really don't know. I have always enjoyed seeing new horizons. Once the epidemic is over, it would be nice to leave London for a while. I understand, Mr. Jonathan, but you have to realize that your mother needs you. Your next departure could break her heart. Do you know my mother speaks to the dead members of this family? Yes. I sometimes hear her speaking to you, Miss Mary, and her baby. Sometimes your father, too. So she thinks I'm also dead. And what about you? I believe. She only sees her relatives 
as the dead she speaks to, Mr. Johnson. It breaks my heart to see Miss Reed like that. I am powerless to help her. She thinks I'm a ghost, too. Whatever I say, she just sees me as another dead relative. But you are still alive, Mr. Jonathan. Bueno. That's the difference. A medias. And I am sure Miss Reed will realize it soon. Esto ya está. Goodbye, Avery. Please watch over my mother until I return. Of course, Mr. Jonathan. But please return as soon as possible. Pobre hombre. Y pobre mi madre también, que está ahí. Y a ver ese señor. Bueno, a ver qué por aquí también, porque... ¡Ah, no, no, no! ¡Que esto, que esto ahora fuera! ¡No, no, no, no! ¿Cómo? ¿Es un... ¿Cómo? ¿Ese señor está afuera? Ah, sí. Good evening, Miss. Oh my God, no! Please, Mr. Vampire, don't kill me! Please, no! I'm too young to die. I still have so much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would? Como que por qué que le estás visto la cara, joder? I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. ¿Qué dices? ¿Qué dices? No me mires a la cámara por fin y poner nervioso. No me mires a la cámara por fin y poner nervioso. No me mires a la cámara por fin y poner nervioso. Es un placer de verte, Miss Charlotte. ¿Qué f***? Cautivar nivel 900... Ah, no. What do you think about this part of town? I was raised here, and I suppose it feels like home. You grew up in this part of town too, did you not? Yes, I was born a few streets away. A small world, is it not? Did you ever imagine that my mother was your neighbor all that time? That you could have met her in a dark alley at night? You won't trick me twice, young lady. We both know Lady Ashbury never hunts or attacks prey at random. Come on, Doctor. Don't tell me you never thought about that possibility. Her fangs on your neck. Oh, are you blushing, Dr. Reed? Is there something that's bothering you? Too much selfishness and individualism for my taste. Even when there was no epidemic. Even if that's partly true, may I remind you that many charitable institutions are financed by the selfish and filthy rich? I suppose you're right. But society must reform and renew itself, or we are all done for. What are you doing out here? You mean, what do I do outside at night, since I am a woman? Let me ask you a question, sir. Would you ask the same question of a man? Actually, yes. I ask the same question of a man. Considering the risks. Well, if you must know, I campaign for the right to vote for all women. Why should I wait to the age of 30 years when men can vote at 21? Are you a suffragette then? Oh, you really are, Elizabeth's girl. Without a doubt. All adult women have the right to vote in the US, in New Zealand and in Australia. But women here can't vote unless they are property owners. No need to convince me, Miss Charlotte. I have shared your opinion for a long time. Even before I met Emmeline Pankhurst. Really? Oh, now I see why my mother appreciates you so much. Too bad there aren't more men like you in the vicinity. How are the locals reacting to your claims? People here can't wait for a wall to be built to isolate the West End from the rest of town. That's how progressive they are. If this happens, Emily and I will blow it up. Explosives are very dangerous, young lady. And who is this Emily? She is my best friend, and a suffragette, too. She was supposed to campaign with me tonight, but hasn't turned up. Have you any reason to be worried about her? Recently, Emily started to believe in... Well, she got interested in vampires. I'm 
afraid she might be in trouble. Let me guess. You spoke to her about us, didn't you? Despite your mother's warning, I think I should try to find your friend. Oh, that would be top-notch. I can tell you where she might have gone. You have my thanks, Dr. Reed. And please, don't tell my mother. Tell me about your adoption. What do you want to know? Who are your real parents? Elizabeth Ashbury is my real mother. She raised me and has taken care of me all my life. I have no idea who my progenitors are or were. Do you live with her? I still spend a lot of time in my mother's mansion, but I have my own house now. I have a life to live, you see? And one day, I'll have my death to face. Pero tú no eres vampira, entonces. O sí, no lo sé. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? First, I was an orphan in the institution for girls she manages in the West End. When I was ten, she adopted me. And I have lived with her ever since. Did you know she was a vampire when she picked you? The correct word is Ekon, Doctor. And no, I had no idea why my mother only showed up at night. She told me everything when I turned 16. Though I suspected the truth for a long time before that. What exactly has your mother told you about me? Your name and profession, obviously. And the mystery about your makeup. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your sister, sir. Mother says it was not your fault. Does it not scare you to know what I am? What your mother is? Why should it? My mother is the most compassionate woman. Must I be wary of her, Dr. Reed? Or you? Of course not. You have nothing to fear from me, or your mother. Good to know. And don't worry, my mother told me everything I need to know about vampire tricks, their nature as well as features. Your mother is not like any other vampire I've met. I believe she thinks the same about you, Dr. Reed. Oh, yes. Do you know why Lady Ashbury chose you to become her daughter? No, I don't. Each time I ask her that question, she smiles and says it's precisely because I dare to ask such questions. Do you ever regret that she chose you? Of course not. Though I often wonder if she adopted others before me. If so, where are they buried? How was it for them to pass through life with a never-aging mother? Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. Whether you need to buy something or not, I am happy to... Ostras, lo vas, pero no está aquí en la... Hostia, es esto, creo, sí. Vale, usted, señor. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm Dr... I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. Oh. I may have a look at... ¿Qué vendes? Muy caro todo. No lo quiero. What can you tell me about this place? I recently found the best steak and kidney pie in the city. Uh. I'd be glad to share the address if you want. Finding a good restaurant? Is that really all that interests you? Oh, I have many passions, but nothing brings me ecstasy like subtle and exquisite flavors from my teeth to my belly. Que no me mire esa cámara, coño, me pone muy nervioso. I must confess. Momentito, momentito. Quiero ver. Ajá, lo que sospechaba. Esto es otro nuevo puto pilar, tío. Entero, ¿sabes? De momento los... Kimura... Ah, que salva, vale. De momento están sanos. Pero bueno, y estos los voy a conocer dentro del Club Ascalon y este va a ser el tocho. No lo sé, tío. No lo... I have quite specific tastes when it comes to nutrition. Really? Well, I'm always happy to try new exotic meals. If you ever find an intriguing table, please 
Share the address. Okay. Hello. How is the situation in this part of town? Life is good and peaceful. We're lucky to live in such an era of progress and wonders. Are you not concerned about the epidemic? Oh, I'm sure the authorities would take the appropriate measure if the danger were that high. You cannot expect the newspapers to expose the truth while the war is still raging. I can assure you that the situation here is desperate. Well, that's news then. But I can't believe that things are that bad. Are you sure you're not exaggerating a bit? For the thrill of it? Qué pista. No tiene en cuenta la seriedad y peligrosidad de la epidemia. Is it not a little too late to be trading? On the contrary, it is the perfect hour. Believe me, my friend, it is always at night that you meet the most fascinating characters. But what about the epidemic? The bombs and raids? And all the random violence? Please, sir, this is London, England. We will prevail. And if a bomb must fall on my shop, then I'll be there to hear it falling. So you prefer to work at night? Oh, I also enjoy a sunny day like everybody else. But the night always has a certain je ne sais quoi of its own. Do you have any family nearby? Not since my parents died. I'm London's lone gourmet. Really? But you seem to be such a pleasant and sociable fellow. I'm afraid the real hedonist has to be sometimes. I discovered ecstasy as a solitary pleasure, but it does not mean it can't ever be shared. London's Lone Gourmet. What a strange title. I used that name in my early years when I was a food critic, and I kept it. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. Voy a ver. Es con esa de hablar con este no. Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Oh, come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God. So you survived the war, too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you, either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true, for... I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. Que no me miréis a la cámara, por favor. When did you escape the war and return to London? You know what's funny? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. I'm involved in another kind of battle now. I know what you mean. I haven't had much time to think about the war either since my return. Of course. The epidemic, I bet you've been busy as well. Forgive me, Johnny, I, I didn't want to sound selfish. What is this new battle? The vampires! I saw terrible things during the war. Horrors I thought I'd forget. They're here too. Ah, si. They're everywhere. Vampires. How is your wife? Venus. We've spent so much time away from each other. So many things have happened. But you're alive. You returned in one piece and you have a family. How many soldiers can say the same? Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. Is everything all right at home? Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. Por qué? Pobre hombre, tío. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Eh, Carlos, todo, eh, Lady Ashworth. Y Swansea también. Buah, espérate, tío, espérate. Porque, claro, por aquí. ¡Puf! 
Puede haber bastante gente con lo que hablar. Y molaría en plan hablar con todos en este episodio. Me lo quito ya de encima. ¿Sabes? Uy, esto ya no está en la segura. Vuelvo. Ya esto, aquí ya no me deja teletransportarme. Porque me ven, claro. Así que esto ya vuelve a ser zona segura. Esto ya no... Eh, Florence Crossley, mi craña, mierda, mierda, mierda. Que se encuentra mal. Oh. Good evening, Miss. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am. I am. Karina Bello. I don't need any doctor. ¿Qué pasa? The rats. Yes. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No. It's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. I can't stop eating them. Help me, please. ¿Qué? Help me to disobey the voice. ¿Cómo? Tell me about yourself, Miss Billow. What do you do for a living? I'm hungry. Need to eat? Have you got something for me? Blood, perhaps? Can you give me blood, Dr. Reed? Don't you remember who you are, Miss? What you did for work? I was... strong. Proud. I campaigned for good causes. But that was before... before... It does not matter anymore. I'm so hungry. What happened to you? The rats. The answer hides in their little crunchy bones. Their juicy, tiny brains. Miss Billow, please, try to concentrate. Why do you worry about rats so much? The voice in my head. He forces me to do so. Drink their blood, he said. Eat their flesh. Do you feel compelled to obey that voice, Miss Billow? Even if you're loath to submit to it? Yes. Please. Help. Tell me about the voice in your head. Who is it? Can you describe it? Is it someone you know? Someone you met? Keep your mouth shut, he said. Don't ever speak about me or I'll abandon you. Help me, please, Tom. Solo emplea un lenguaje incoherente cuando habla de lo que le ocurrió. What is the local news hereabouts, Miss Billow? Shadows. Shadows hunting shadows. Whispers in the dark. Pestilence. Suffering. Death. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. Esta no la voy a ver hacer nada extraño, seguro, que no la voy a espiar y la voy a pillar haciendo cosas raras. Esto es para el club Ascal. Creo. Esto no sé para qué es, la verdad. Bueno. Cantarillas del dique, yo quiero bajar aquí para que exactamente... Yo voy a salir porque aquí de momento no me ha llamado nadie, así que... Voy a crear el tratamiento de la migraña. Se lo doy al señor y lo dejamos aquí, de momento. Good evening. I won't laugh. Do you need to 
What can I say? I hope we're talking about. You need. Vale. Y por aquí. Eh. Venus es la mujer de del tío este. Hello. Is anyone there? Jonathan, is that you? I did not know you were back in London. Oh, my dear Johnny, I am so sorry for your loss. Mary was such a sweetheart. Thank you, Venus. May I come in? I was going to bed, actually. Oh, no. Forgive me. With the epidemic, I tend to forget people are supposed to sleep. La gente duerme de noche. Come back tomorrow for tea. I'll be glad to see you there. Pues lo vamos a dejar aquí entonces, espero que os haya gustado mucho, gracias por estar ahí un día más aguantándome y en el próximo continuaremos, así que lo dicho, eh, pues nada, eso, gracias y hasta luego.